Hello YouTube, TJ Edition Life here. Today I have a blade spot video for you guys. Uh, I just got the Jade G10 or Natural G10 handle um, spare point Magnica steel uh, 8020, Demco 8020 in the mail. Uh, so I like, really like this blade shape and the steel. But I'm not a big fan of the natural G10 or JG10 handle. So I'm going to do like a swap between the texture titanium handle and the JG10 handle. So instead of doing like a skill swap, I will just swap the place on these two knives because the parts are, uh, I believe, are exactly the same. So they should be compatible with each other. So just take out this blade and swap with this blade. It should work. Um, yeah, without uh, further ado, let's get it started. So the first thing I'm going to do is to disassemble this knife. And then I will work on that one and, and then just swap the blade. Um, let's see, uh, the screw size for the pivot, I believe it's T10. So I'm using my um, Hoto HLTO screwdriver, T10 um, bit for the pivot. I believe the, the body screws are T8. Let's get the pivot out first okay. almost out looks like there is some blue lock tie in here set this one aside and then change the bed to T8 work on the body screw okay this one is out then two pocket clip and body screw here get this one out okay so now this side should be able to disassemble this. I know there is a there is spring uh, loaded here. I don't want it to fly everywhere. Okay, so it looks like the scale is off, and there is a liner here. So. What I will do is put some pressure evenly here and there, and then try to get it out. It's a little bit harder than the skill. Okay, looks like it's moving. Almost okay, it's out. Look at this, the spring, almost flies out. Okay, so now it's uh, kind of disassembled. I can just uh, get this blade out and leave everything where it is for now. I will put this blade here. And then move everything to the right and then work on this knife. Okay, uh, so same kind of process. I will use my T10 bit and unscrew the pivot. 
pivot first. Flag is out. Okay. Here. And also uh, change the bit to a T8. And unscrew this. Put it here. Unscrew the pocket clip and uh, both of them. Okay, Look, looks like it's disassembled. So I can put even pressure and then the handle is out. This one doesn't have a liner, which is easier to disassemble. Just be careful with the spring because it will fly out. Um, so, I'll just, okay, careful with the spring, okay, now the spring is out, I can get the blade out of the pivot, okay, it's out, so now, Everything should be ready to go for the swabbing. So I will put this blade here and this blade here so that I know this goes here and this goes there. So now I will um, assemble this, this knife first and that one uh, later. So first thing I will do I need to do is uh, put the lock bar in, and put the spring in here, careful, you don't want it to kind of fly out on you because it's a nightmare to find it if you lose it, okay. Bring tension is a little bit heavy. Okay, there we go. It's inside there. Just make sure you don't accidentally get it out. Okay, so now I need to put the Oh, the bearing is already there, so I don't need to mess with that. So I will put the blade in like so. Put a little bit pressure here so, so that it doesn't fly out on you. And then move it a little bit down and then it should for, go in uh, flush. And then put the other bearing in here. And then put the scale back. Line it up. Push it further. And then what all you need to do is um, put the body screw first in. And then have a screw last. Okay, first body screw in and then the clip. Okay, last clip screw. there. Okay, last thing I need to do is to put the pivot screw back. To do that, I need to change the bit to a T10. Okay. 
Okay. So now everything should be good to go on this one. Let's test it out by closing it and check the blade centering. It's, it's dead center. Nice and the uh, action is good. Cool. So yeah, so we have a textured titanium handle on the spear point uh, magnet cut blade, which is what I want. Cool. The last thing I need to do is to reassemble this one. Um, to do that, so same thing. Uh, first put the spring inside of the lock bar. Yeah, this part is the most difficult part because the spring is so springy. Oh, make sure it doesn't fly out on you. Okay, it's in there. Nice. Okay, next thing I need to do is to play, put the blade in. Okay. Be careful with the spring. Okay, so you need to move uh, the lock bar a little bit. Put some pressure on the spring so that it doesn't move out on you. And then, yeah, slide it down. Okay, so now it's in there. You can put the, the other uh, bearing in and then put the liner back like so and then push evenly it should sit flush with the pivot okay um, yep okay you can check here to see if it's flush um, so now last thing I need to do is to put this scale back. Okay. Like so. Okay, it's flush. And then put the, this body screw in first. Um, change it to a T8. Come on. Okay, here we go. It's in and then the clip. Two clip screw. First one in. Next one. Okay, last thing I need to do is put the pivot back. And yeah, I need to change it to T10. Almost done. Okay, make sure it's flush. All the way in, okay. Check everything. Looks like it's okay. So, action is good. Blade centering, blade centering is good. Okay, action is good. Yeah. So it successfully made the blade swap. So now I have uh, a natural G10 handle 
with the full flag one uh, 3V steel uh, clip point uh, AD20 and then the texture titanium handle with spear point magnet cut blade steel AD20 Cool, that's all for this video. Hope you enjoy this kind of uh, blade swap kind of video. Thank you.